One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mike Henning here, coming to you today with the old gospel song, Do Lord in the Key of G. There's a whole bunch of similarities between a lot of these old bluegrass songs. Long Journey Home, Worried Man Blues, Handsome Molly. So learning these melodies is really good practice. I also added a couple more chords to this one just to give it a little bit more of a gospel flavor. So I think that's kind of fun as well. So we did two solos, one down the neck and one up the neck, kind of in an advanced beginner level. But I think you can get this one with some practice. I'll break down both the solos, note for note as always. And then we'll do some backup. So I'll show you how to do the chords down the neck and then up the neck with vamping as well. All right, here's a beginner version of Do Lord in the key of G. Here we go. All right, so let's start breaking down this first solo to Do Lord. Let's play the first nine measures. That's like halfway through the verse. So you get a sense of how it sounds and then we'll break it down measure by measure with the tab. Here we go. Do that a few times. I'll do it really slow. time a little faster. Okay, so we're going to start with the classic rolling pickup in measure one. We're going to do a 2-3 hammer on on the third string with a forward roll. So T-I-M, strings three, two, and one on beat two. So count beat one, one, and then we're going to go. So two and three. And then back to the open third string with your index finger of your right hand, index finger, and then down to the second fret of the fourth string with your thumb of your right hand, middle finger of your left hand. So you have one, one, one. You can hear how it sounds, right? So that's the opening pickup we're gonna do, one, we want to get down to this open four string as our melody note. So that's just kind of the, the way we're getting down. That's one option. Another option would be like something like this. Right, so second fret, second fret, first fret, open. That'd be like another way you might hear. Or even with like pinches, like something like that, right? But we're doing rolling pickup in this case. We're going. And then we're gonna do a great roll that you'll see for representing the melody on the fourth string. You could use this for like Long Journey Home, Handsome Molly, Do Lord. Once you start hearing this little melody, you're gonna hear it in a lot of bluegrass songs. So we're going open four string, and then a forward roll, strings four, three, one. So T-I-M with my right hand, back to the index finger on the third string, and then second fret, and then open. So you're basically down on that second fret with your middle finger. You take it off for a second. And then you put it right back on. So you have. I'm looping measure two, kind of accenting my thumb. And then we're going to keep that finger down and do a 2-5 slide on the four string. So another forward roll, 4-3-1, T-I-M. And then 5 3 1. And then the second fret on the third string. So the opening melody is. Right? So what we're
we're doing is we're going to start that with a roll and then a slide. So instead of just playing the open third string, we're playing it with a slide. And then here we're going to do a forward reverse roll lick. We're going to do a 2-4 slide on the third string. So your fingers down, slide it up, fifth string, and then a backwards roll with a pull off. So you have So a couple little technique things here. So one is you have to make sure when you come back that your index finger is down because that's the note you're pulling off to. The other thing you have to do is make sure you're not back too much like this, right? It's easy to slide up like this and then see how my wrist is back here. Like, but then when you try and go do that pull off, you're, you're gonna be muting the first string. So you need to keep your wrist out enough. So if you're having trouble with that pull off, play it with just the second fret on its own without the pull off, it'll sound like this. Right, so you can hear how it sounds. Remember the pull off doesn't change your right hand at all, so. My right hand's doing the same thing either time. Okay, so that's into measure five, so let's play those first uh, four measures into measure five. Here we go. One. Slide. Slide. You can actually loop it. If you start with measure five, you can go right back up into the pickup. And then we do two forward rolls, five, three, one. And then on the second one, we're gonna quick go into your C a little bit early. So you'll see that second fret. And what you wanna do is you wanna use your ring finger, which feels a little bit weird at first. You might feel like you wanna use your first or second finger, but we're gonna use our third finger, our ring finger, because we're gonna go into our C. So what you do is you do measure five. That's like an old little Scruggs trick is kind of going to that C a little bit early. So you can play with just the open first string and it'll work. But going to that C a little bit early just adds a little Scruggs flavor. Like that. You can see how I have my C just ready to go. I'm just hovering over and then I just put it down at the last second. And then I go right into my C and I do an open two hammer on. Now I do two forward rolls with my right hand, T-I-M twice with an, uh, strings four, three, one, four, three, one. So again, don't worry about the hammer on it first. Just do the roll, right? You can just stay with the C down. That's five into measure six. And then once you get it down, add the hammer on. And then what I do here is you'll see that fourth fret on the four string and it might feel like a big stretch, but what you do is you just slide the whole C up and then you're just gonna slide it right back down. So I go, slide it up. You can take these other two fingers off if you need to. And then I go right back down and I go open third string, which helps me get back down. So I slide up and then I slide right back down and I put my C back down even though it doesn't quite look like it right away. So that's what I do, I'm doing there. And then a, or a little roll and then a forward reverse roll. And then right here, I'm taking off the C a little early. Again, another Scruggs little trick. Okay, so let's play measure six through eight. That's kind of the, the uh, C licks we have. And then a forward reverse roll, three, two, one, five, and then one, three, four, one. So good string practice there in measure eight. That might be a good roll to just isolate. You have. And then notice I'm taking the C off a little bit early at the end. So measure six through eight would also be a great lick for Worried Man Blues. It's the same melody as that song. So check out that one, okay? 
So let's do six through eight one more time. Here we go. And then we end on the open four string, which goes into measure nine. So you can hear how we're kind of going back down the notes. Right, so our melody is. Right, so we're kind of implying that with the roll. Let's bring it back to measure five. We have. All right, that's into measure nine. One more time. And then we play just a little fill lick, which is very similar to the opening melody we played. Backup lick or fill lick. 